Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss exercise 2 of A of mathematical induction. If you didn't watch the previous videos, the link is in the description, watch it. In this exercise 2 of A, already we discussed the first question in the previous uh, video. Uh, just have a look at that. Now in this video, I am going to discuss from the second. Okay, the question is, show that 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 4 into 5 plus and so on is equals to n into n square plus 6n plus 11 divided by 3 by using mathematical induction. Okay, in the given question, he didn't mention the nth term. So, if nth term is given, then only we can able to solve the answer. So, first let us find the nth term of the given one. We will use the nth term of the AP that is A plus N minus 1 into D. If we observe the first numbers 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So, in this first term is A that is 2 plus N as usual N minus 1 into D is nothing but second term minus first term 3 minus 2 1 which is equals to 2 plus N minus 1 into 1 N minus 1. So, N as usual 2 minus 1 1. So, N plus 1. This is only for this first numbers. Still we have second numbers also. So for the second numbers also let us find it out now. If we do for second numbers. A value is here 3. Plus n minus 1 into common difference. Here 4. Here 3. 4 minus 3. 1. So, we get 3 plus n minus 1 into 1, n minus 1, n as usual, 3 minus 1, 2, so n plus 2. So, the nth term of the given question will be n plus 1 into n plus 2. So, just remember this n plus 1 into n plus 2. Now, just I will change the question according to the nth term now. So, if you observe here, 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 4 into 5 plus and so on plus nth term we got as n plus 1 into n plus 2 which is equals to n into n square plus 6n plus 11 whole divided by 3. Okay, now we need to solve this by using three steps completely. The first step is basis of induction. In this, we will show that that statement or formula is true for n equals to 1. Next, second step, inductive hypothesis. In this, we will assume that the given formula or statement is true for n equals to k. Next, third step, inductive step. So, based on this second step, we will prove that the given formula or statement is true for k plus 1 also. So, first, let us go with the step 1. In the step 1, yes of 1. Yes of 1 is nothing but sum of the first term. Here, first term is 2 into 3. So, 2 into 3. That is equals to 6. Now, substituting n, substituting 1 in the place of n. If n equals to 1. Here, we have formula n into n square plus 6 n plus 11 divided by 3. Here, wherever we have n, we need to substitute 1 there. So, let us substitute now. 1 into 1 square 
plus 6 into 1 plus 11 whole divided by 3. Let us simplify this. 1 into 1 square is 1 plus 6 1s are 6 plus 11 as it is whole divided by 3 which is equals to 1 into 1 plus 6 7 7 plus 11 18 divided by 3. So, if we simplify further 1 into 18 18 divided by 3 3 1s are 3 6 are, so that is 6. Now, if we compare the two answers what we got. Yes of one value is a 6 and when we substituted n equals to 1 also we got the same answer as 6 only. So, we can conclude that the statement or the formula is true for n equals to 1. The statement here in this total wherever I will mention the statement that is nothing but the formula or the given question or the formula which is given in the question. The statement is true for n equals to 1. So, this is the first step simply substituting 1 in the place of n. Next second step. This second step is very easy nothing will be there in this to do. Assume that just it is assumption. Assume that the statement or formula is true for n equals to k. Now, this is the formula which they gave in the question n into n square plus 6 n plus 11 divided by 3. So, in the question wherever we have n in the place of n we need to substitute k. So, here we will get it as k into k square plus 6k plus 11 divided by 3. So, this we need to write there. k into k square plus 6k plus 11 whole divided by 3. This is equals to what then? The given question as it is that is 2 into 3. 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus and so on plus we have n plus 1 into n plus 2 to write. So, in the place of n plus 1 into n plus 2 we need to write k plus 1 into k plus 2. k plus 1 into k plus 2. This is second step. Next, let us move to the third step. In the third step, we need to prove that the given statement is true for k plus 1 also. We like to show that the statement or formula is true for n equals to k plus 1 that is to show that simply in the given question I mean in the formula wherever we have n in the place of n we need to substitute k plus 1. So, if you observe the question once in that the given formula is if I rub these all lines it will be clear. Okay, done. n into n square plus 6 n plus 11 divided by 3. So, in the place of n simply we need to substitute k plus 1. Let us check it out. n into n square plus 6 n plus 3 sorry plus 11 divided by 3. That I will write it here as a rough. n into n square plus 6 n plus 11 whole divided by 3. So, now here wherever we have n in the place of n we need to substitute k plus 1. Here n is there. So, k plus 1 into here n square is there. So, k plus 1 whole square plus here 6 n is there. So, 6 into k plus 1 plus 11 as it is whole divided by 3. Now, if we simplify this 
let us check what we will get as the answer. <coughs> k plus 1 as usual into k plus 1 whole square if we expand we get it as k square plus 1 plus 2k plus 6 into k 6k plus 6 ones are 6 plus 11 as usual whole divided by 3 next still if we check any simplification is possible for this k plus 1 into k square as it is 2k plus 6k 8k 11 plus 6 17 17 plus 1 18 whole divided by 3 so this is what exactly we need to show in the answer then we can say that it is true for n equals to k plus 1 also so just to make it highlight i'll keep it in a box so that we can understand at every stage whether we got the same answer or not <coughs> okay now take the given question as it is 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus and so on plus actually we will be having n plus 1 into n plus 2 in the formula we have n plus 1 into n plus 2 but in the place of n keeping it k k plus 1 into k plus 2 k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus okay now observe these numbers clearly first number is 2 then the next number is 3 so how much we are adding plus 1 we are adding so here this one also we need to add 1 so that we will get the next number k plus 1 plus 1 next the same way second one if you observe Here the second one is 3 and here it is 4. So here also 1 is added. So here k plus 2 is there. For that k plus 2 we need to add 1 again. k plus 2 plus 1. <coughs> okay, now let us check it out. So we get 2 into 3 in plus 3 into 4 plus and so on plus k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus k plus 1 plus 1 k plus 2 into k plus 2 plus 1 k plus 3 so this is what we got now from the step 2 if we observe the step 2 clearly here in the step 2 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus and so on plus k plus 1 into k plus 2 value is k into k square plus 6k plus 11 divided by 3 so 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus and so on plus k plus 1 into k plus 2 value is k into k square plus 6k plus 11 whole divided by 3 from the step 2. Next plus here this last term I am writing as it is that is k plus 2 into k plus 3. k plus 2 into k plus 3. Here anyway denominator is not there. So for easy calculation I am making it by 1. Okay. Next if you observe. These two are having different denominators. So I will go with the cross multiplication method. So here both the denominators we need to multiply. That is 3 1s are 3. Then cross multiplication. 1 into k into k square plus 6k plus 11. If we multiply with 1 nothing will change. So as it is k into k square plus 6k plus 11 plus 3 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. So, 3 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. Okay, still let us simplify. k into k square plus 6k plus 11 plus 3 into k into k k square plus k into 3 3k 2 into k 2k plus 2 into 3 6 whole divided by 3 as usual ok next
k into k square k power 3 plus k into 6k 6k square plus k into 11 11k plus 3 into k square 3k square plus 3 into 3k 9k plus 3 into 2k 6k plus 3 6 are 18 whole divided by 3 <coughs> next k cube as it is plus 6 k square plus 3 k square 9 k square 11 k plus 9 k 20 k plus 6 k 26 k plus 18 whole divided by 3 so now we need to do prime factorization of this cubic polynomial which is there in the numerator So that will be k plus 1 into k square plus 8k plus 18 whole divided by 3. If you doesn't know how to do the factorization of the cubic polynomial, uh, I did one more video on that. Uh, the link is in the description. Please go through that. Actually, that is the basic uh, topic in the 10th class. So that's why I'm not going to waste more time for that. Okay, now finally, this is the answer which we got. Now, let us compare this answer with uh, what we need to get. This one. <coughs> Here, the answer is visible clearly. K plus 1 into K square plus 8K plus 18 whole divided by 3. Obviously, the same answer we got. Then, we can conclude this statement or formula is true for n equals to k plus 1 by the principle of mathematical induction by the principle of mathematical induction the formula is true for All n belongs to capital N.